law serves a function. We have law for reasons. And one of the reasons we have law is to promote the health and well-being of communities. Well, what does that mean, then, when we actually apply the law? If we keep that pretty simple but very fundamental idea in mind, how, how does that get carried out in a lot of different legal arenas? One of the things I try to show in the book is how our federalism doctrine and the court's analysis of federalism cases has become rather crusty and rule-bound, but has lost sight of that basic mission that was back in the framing years and in the early years of our constitutional law that the goal of states, one of the reasons to have states, is that they can protect the health and safety of their people. And when we put that back into that analysis of deciding, for example, what should be done by the federal government, what should be done by the states, and actually think, well, what makes sense from a public health perspective? Where should those lines of demarcation be? It changes the way we might look at some of the cases and or resolve some of the issues. What I would like to see happening is a deeper recognition of the interrelationship of public health and health care. We tend in this country to put them in two separate buckets. We tend to think about health care as medical services, as insurance, as all that stuff. And then we tend to think about public health in terms of tobacco control, obesity control, and particularly infectious disease control. And we don't really focus on the deep relationships between the two. We don't see the ways in which um, health care reform is, uh, can be achieved through public health. And we don't see the ways in which public health requires health care reform. In fact, they're um, interdependent upon each other. So I would like to influence that conversation. I would like the conversation that's going on in this country today, right now, about both health care reform and um, epidemic influenza policy um, to be cognizant of each other and to see that both issues are different sides of the same coin.